Hey everyone, Flash from Flash Hobbies here. Today we're going to be doing a 1.9 stretch tire over 2.2 beadlocks for the Traxxas TRX6. To begin with this build, we have to take off the center caps off of all six wheels. I'm going to use a small pry tool here to pop off the center cap and then you have to remove the lock nut and then we can continue. So we're doing a 2.2 wheel on the TRX6 today. Um, I ordered some tires and I had to return them because uh, they were too big, the 2.2 Hyraxes by Proline. I ended up going with the 1.9 Hyrax, which are these here. And basically I'm going to be stretching the 1.9 over the 2.2s. And um, I've done two wheels so far, so I think I got it down. I wanted to kind of practice on it because I had never really done that before and I wanted to make sure that I had at least a system of getting these wheels on so and, and I think I figured it out it hasn't been too difficult so far it's just it's a lot of screws and it's a lot of wheels you know this is six tires and wheels that I have to put together so as always I order these chinkish wheels chinkish whatever you want to call them I order them off of eBay all the time they're to me a great deal and great quality and they really do last a long time I've never had one wheel break or anything wrong with it the only mistake that I've ever had was there was one wheel that they didn't include all the screws they sent me the screws and fixed that problem so really I, I can't speak anything negative about these um, they're just fantastic wheels I saw these um, if you guys saw my earlier video I have the the, the matte gray 6x6 by Traxxas and these wheels I thought were going to look really good on it. So far I'm very happy with how they're looking. But I want to show you guys first how to put the wheel on there. With the wheel onto the tire. And then I'll show you how it looks like on the rig. So it comes in a little baggie like this. And includes all your screws. Now there is one thing that I will mention. Is I bought hubkits. And what I mean by a hubkit is basically. We're going to be taking off these two screws here to remove the hub and the reason why is because it's going to have a center cap so this just basically adds a little bit of scale realism so instead of having your hex nut or your lock nut like that you're actually doing it on the inside and i'll show you right now so we're going to go ahead and start working on this wheel and we're going to remove these two you're going to need a 2.5 hex driver for this step and it, they, they all come included with just two of them screwed in. What the center cap will include is the longer screws because it's gonna go through this center cap and then it's gonna go into the hub and that's, that's where it's basically gonna attach. So instead of attaching it by the lock nut, it's now attached by five screws. So as you saw, we removed the two screws. Now we have our hub here. So we're gonna go ahead and jack up this wheel. Use one of my scale accessories here very useful so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside we're gonna put our hub on there now you're gonna put your lock nut in so basically we're just getting this wheel ready once we're done and uh, we're just gonna tighten this down until it can't go anymore as tight as you can get it all right so it's, it's as tight as it can go so the, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out these two screws and we're gonna set them aside because we're not gonna need these anymore so as I mentioned, I have the Proline Hyrax 1.9s, the G8 compound. So this is a little bit stiffer compound than the Predator. So if you are looking, um, that's the part number for it. I got those off of eBay as well. I get pretty much everything off of eBay. And for this, I'm using stock foam, so I didn't want to spend the extra $18 per set or whatever it was for the foams. I think it'll do just fine. I don't do any comp crawling or anything like that anyway. So for my for my application, it should be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and set one of these wheels aside. All right, so how we stretch the 2.2 or the 1.9 over the 2.2, at least from my experience, I found that it's easiest to remove the back piece first. So you use your 2.5 and remove the screws 
And I believe this one comes with two or three, yeah, two screws. I think they all come that way. And these you will reuse. So just set them wherever you need them. I set them off to the side here. So what that does is it removes, it removes the back part of the wheel. Now you have your center that's gonna go inside of the tire. And now you have your bead lock and the front of the wheel loose. So it's a, it's essentially a four piece bead lock. So of course, the first thing we do, we're gonna put our center cap in. I don't know what the real name of this is. I just call it a cap, but you know, it's, it's basically what gives it its structure. So as you can see, we have to kind of work it a little bit. And once we got it inside, it, it, it's, it's good. Once it's inside, just kind of work the foam around and make sure that that the lip is is gone onto the inside. As you can see here, it's you, that's all you can see on the inside is the shininess of that cap. Um, I don't like the dots showing, so I always put them inwards. Um, anyways, the high racks don't really have an actual way that they're supposed to go. Just always check and depends on what tire you have. Um, sometimes the tread pattern does need to go a certain way. In this case, the Hyrax doesn't really matter. So I'm putting the, the dot on the inside. So what I found that was easiest for me was actually starting with the front part first. And essentially what we do is we're gonna put a little bit in there and kind of just stretch this thing around. Stretch it there. As you can see, it's already around the wheel. Just stretch it a little bit here. As you can see, it's already starting to seed in, sit in a little bit. So we got it to sit in. Now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the back in and then we're gonna use two screws or so just to kind of give it um, some structure. So we are gonna have to kind of work it in a little bit. What I do is I just stretch it a little bit Kind of give it a little playroom here. All right, so I feel like it's going in. Now I just got to wiggle it in there and kind of just twist to make sure that it lines up with the holes on the inside. All right, once the back is seated, just make sure that it's flush, that you can pull on it that there's no issues with it and now we can move on to the other side and what I do is I start with a cross pattern basically so I start with one then the other then this side and this side and just keep kind of doing evening you know do a couple turns couple turns couple turns until you finally get all the way down so this one is pretty much done that one's done and that one is finished as well so now we have even pressure all the way around and what we'll do is finish off this bead. So this, this kind of ensures that right there you can see already how it's going to look like. There's no bulges. It's going to grab just fine. So we'll just finish it off with the screws. They supply them for you. It's 24 in total here on the outer ring. And then we'll be ready to install onto our hub. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mount it onto the hub. So we're going to get our center cap and we're going to insert it from the back here and then just kind of turn it so that the holes line up. They provide you with the longer screw. So just use one of the screws, use your two and a half driver to kind of help you guide it in there. And we're gonna lift the truck up and see where we land. There we go. So that's grabbed on. Now we're gonna do another one here. Just to give it some support. I always do cross supports on these wheels. I feel like it helps a lot. And now we can tighten it all the way. And that should um, give us leeway to put all the other ones on. All right. So basically what this means is if we ever need to take the wheel off, yes, we will have to have a two and a half hex driver have to take all of these off then you can take off the, the lock nut on the inside 
but you know for scale scale appearance it looks fantastic it really gives you that look um again this is the trx6 and this this is going to clear the wheel well with no problem so um really like the look of this i think if i would have gone with a 2.2 tire would have been too tall too big and i just wouldn't have liked it, it just now looks like a smaller tire with a bigger rim and i really like that look as always if you have any questions leave them down below don't forget to hit that like subscribe and hit notifications and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching flash hobby